Process Technology Unit 12 Process Economics Outline The role of economics in process design Types of costs in the process industry Capital costs for new design Capital costs for retrofit Annualized capital costs Operating costs Fixed and variable costs The role of economics in process design The purpose of chemical processes is to make chemicals by the most cost-effective way. Understanding of process economics is therefore critical in process design. Process economics has three basic roles in process design. Evaluation of design options Process optimization Overall project profitability Costs are required to evaluate process design options. For example, should a membrane or an adsorption process be used for purification? The settings of some process variables can have a major influence on the decision making in developing the flow sheet and on the overall profitability of the process. Optimization of such variables is usually required. The economics of the overall project should be evaluated at different stages during the design to assess whether the project is economically viable. Types of costs in the process industry Capital costs for new design Capital costs for retrofit Annualized capital costs Operating costs Fixed costs Variable costs Capital costs for new design The total investment required for a new design can be broken down into four main parts. Battery limits investment Utility investment Off-site investment Working capital Battery limits investment the battery limit is a geographic boundary that defines the manufacturing area of the process. This is that part of the manufacturing system that converts raw materials into products. Battery limit includes process equipment and buildings or structures to house it. Battery limit excludes boiler house facilities, site storage, pollution control, site infrastructure, and so on. The term battery limit is sometimes used to define the boundary of responsibility for a given project, especially in retrofit projects. The cost of a specific item of equipment depends on Size Materials of construction Design pressure Design temperature Utility investment Capital investment in utility plant could include equipment for Electricity generation Electricity distribution 
Steam generation Steam distribution Process water Cooling water Fire water Refrigeration Compressed air Inert gas Nitrogen Off-site investment Off-site investment includes Auxiliary buildings Offices, medical, personnel, locker rooms, guardhouses, warehouses and maintenance shops Roads and paths Railroads Fire protection systems Communication systems Waste disposal systems Storage facilities for end product Water and fuel Not directly connected with the process Plant service vehicles Loading and weighing devices Working capital Working capital is what must be invested to get the plant into productive operation. Working capital includes Raw materials for plant startup Raw materials Intermediate and product inventories Cost of transportation of materials for startup Money to meet payroll when starting up Money to carry accounts receivable less accounts payable Accounts receivable is the credit extended to customers Accounts payable is the credit extended by suppliers. Capital costs for retrofit Estimating the capital cost of a retrofit project is much more difficult than for new design. In principle, the cost of individual items of new equipment will usually be the same, whether it is a grassroots design or a retrofit. However, in new design, multiple orders of equipment might lead to a reduction in capital cost from the equipment vendor and lower transportation costs. An example of a retrofit situation one very common retrofit situation is the replacement of distillation column internals to improve the performance of the column. Column modifications Installation of new trays Removal of trays to install packing Removal of trays to install new trays Removal of packing to install new trays One of the biggest sources of cost associated with retrofit can be the downtime, the period during which the plant will not be productive, required to carry out the modifications. The cost of lost production can be the dominant feature of retrofit projects. The cost of lost production should be added to the capital cost of a retrofit project. The modifications requiring the plant to be shut down should be minimized. Annualized capital costs Loans from banks Accumulated net cash flow arising from company profit over time. 
issue by the company of common, ordinary, stock, preferred stock or bonds, debenture stock. Operating costs Raw materials cost The cost of raw materials and the product selling prices tend to have the largest influence on the economic performance of the process. Catalysts and chemicals consumed in manufacturing other than raw materials. Catalysts will need to be replaced or regenerated through the life of a process. The costs of catalyst regeneration must be included to the operating costs. In addition to the cost of catalysts, there might be significant costs associated with chemicals consumed in manufacturing that do not form part of the final product. For example, acids and alkalis might be consumed to adjust the pH of streams. Such costs might be significant. Utility operating costs Utility operating cost is usually the most significant variable operating cost after the cost of raw materials. This is especially the case for the production of commodity chemicals. Utility operating costs include Fuel Electricity Steam Process water Cooling water Refrigeration Compressed air Inert gas Labor cost The cost of labor is difficult to estimate. It depends on whether the process is batch or continuous, the level of automation, the number of processing steps, the level of production. When synthesizing a process, it is usually only necessary to screen process options that have the same basic character, for example continuous, have the same level of automation, have a similar number of processing steps and the same level of production. In this case, labor costs will be common to all options and hence will not affect the comparison. If, however, options are to be compared that are very different in nature, such as a comparison between batch and continuous operation, some allowance for the difference in the cost of labor must be made. Also, if the location of the plant has not been fixed, the differences in labor costs between different geographical locations can be important. Maintenance costs The cost of maintenance depends on whether processing materials are solids or gas and liquid. Handling solids tends to increase maintenance costs. Highly corrosive process fluids increase maintenance costs. Average maintenance costs tend to be around 6% of the fixed capital investment. Fixed and variable costs Fixed costs are independent of the rate of production. Variable costs depend on the rate of production. Fixed costs include Capital cost repayments Outline maintenance 
overheads. For example, safety services, laboratories, personnel facilities, administrative services. Quality control. Labor. Local taxes and insurance. Variable costs include Raw materials Catalysts and chemicals Consumed in manufacturing, other than raw materials Utilities Maintenance costs incurred by operation Royalties Transportation costs To revise the learned material, answer the questions. List types of costs in the process industry. List capital costs for new design in the process industry. List annualized capital costs in the process industry. List operating costs in the process industry. Define the term fixed costs. Give some examples of fixed costs. Define the term variable costs. Give some examples of variable costs.